this is going to be an overview of the NSA's Tawdry Yard Radar Retroreflector. This is also going to be a principle of the Amplitude Modulated Backscatter principle which these uh, retroreflector devices operate on. The Tawdry Yard is the simplest of these devices. It just consists basically of a square wave clock oscillator and a, uh, a microwave FET which uh, generates the, uh, the backscattered signal. The Tadri Yard device is uh, used for uh, location or as a, like a tracking beacon or as a uh, also as a uh, it says to assist in locating the Rage Master units. I'll be going over the Rage Master units in a separate video. Those are providing a uh, uh, essentially it's a bug on a video VGA video monitor. Uh, those don't have their own clock signal so by adding this hiding this device in like the targeted office building or whatever it lets you know at the uh, you know the, where the rage master units are located. Here's essentially a block diagram of how they work. They're really fairly quite simple. Uh, the square square wave oscillator consists of a tiny AVR, a little six pin microcontroller, pre-programmed in for a very distinct carrier frequency. It can be in, it's usually in the ultrasonic range, so you can't hear it. But it is possible uh, to put it in the standard audio range, so you, uh, you can identify these devices using just a uh, pair of headphones and an audio amplifier. Uh, they're powered off a standard 3 volt lithium cell. You ever see one? That's essentially uh, these devices, but those little coin cells, that's all they are. Um, current jaw is very very low so they can operate for up to a year. The square wave is run straight into the gate of a FET, microwave FET. For our experiments here I'm going to be using the Fujitsu FHX 35LG but um, pretty much this is what any microwave quality microwave FET will work. On the drain of the FET as an antenna. Uh, this sh for I the ideal response it should be a quarter wave of the illumination carrier, remote illumination carrier. But uh, in reality just about any piece of wire will work. Source of the FET uh, should be grounded. The remote photo angle, photo angle uh, radar illumination unit uh, Since it transmits the uh, unmodulated carrier, it gets uh, amplitude modulated backscatter, and that's picked up by the uh, receive unit or the receive antenna of the uh, photo angle. Here's the device I'm using for experimenting. It's the Fujit Fujitsu FHX 35LG right here. The uh, brown dot is the gate. The two source leads are grounded. Now the drain is just a little piece of wire. Uh, I have a, uh, a coupling capacitor, 0.01 microfarad, and a uh, 1 meg gate to ground, just to drain off any residual stuff on the gate. On the oscilloscope screen, you can see a modulating frequency this experiment. It's a uh, 1 kilohertz square wave at 1 volt peak to peak. For our illumination radar, we're going to be using the Decatur Range Master 715 again. This is an X-band police Doppler radar. Uh, this is just for our initial experimentation. Um, and on the spectrum analyzer, you can see the unmodulated carrier at about 10.5 uh, gigahertz right now. I'll turn up the audio on the Range Master. You're just hearing uh, random noises right now. Here's a uh, 35 mile per hour tuning fork. But you know, it does work.
This is the output of the signal generator with the one kilohertz square wave. This is going into their uh, FET modulator. So what you're hearing, I'll turn it away. On the radar unit, you're hearing the one kilohertz tone being amplitude modulated. The back scatter is coming, you know, back into the radar unit, and we're hearing it on the speaker inside the uh, radar. The spectrum analyzer is picking up the back scattered signal as well. A little hard because nothing's phase locked, but if we give the uh, I'm not using a sweep tone, I'll show you. That's a sweep tone from the signal generator we're going to be using. I'll run that into the uh, a little modulator board here. That's going to give us a very distinct audio uh, backscattered signal. And that's kind of like a here's the uh, just unmodulated noise. And there's our uh, backscattered sweep signal. square wave. To actually demodulate those signals, the, uh, the mixer diode within the uh, radar unit itself is just uh, AM demodulating the tone. That's why we can hear it as the uh, in the audio range. Um, it is possible for like a, a real world type unit you want to use like an ultrasonic carrier. So well. Uh, Make it harder to detect. Let's see if we can demonstrate that. I'm now modulating the uh, our test retro reflector with a one megahertz square wave. We should see side bands on the spectrum analyzer display, if I can get it just right. There we go. You see the two little sidebands showing up. That's the uh, result of the one megahertz mo gate modulation. That's an example of uh, how wideband these devices are. Uh, the Rage Master unit is essentially the same as the Tadri Yard, but it just taps the uh, red video signal. Like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll do another video on that device. Um, to detect these devices, um, you have to use a device called a uh, nonlinear junction detector. You can actually detect the, uh, uh, the little microcontroller generating the square wave. Uh, you can also use a uh, v VLF uh, tuned ferrite loop antenna or to kind of sweep the area for uh, low frequency carriers. And you kind of want to uh, you have to com compare, you know, to a previous sweep from a past sweep to uh, you know see if there's any, you know any new. Uh, noise essentially showing up and that will be a indication of something you want to check out.